Yo, what is going on everyone and welcome back to another vlog here on the channel and welcome to day one of our summer trip actually to a lot of theme parks. Today we're at Flamingoland, so trip one, Flamingoland. Day one of our trip. Yeah. All looking forward to it, aren't we? Oh yeah. 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 Not uh, been to Flamingoland in, how, how long would it have been, Ryan? It's been a while, it's, hasn't it? It's been, yeah, definitely. Me and Maze come a few years ago. I'm not actually sure what it actually, um, how many years it actually was, but I know it was a, like a, a good while a, ago, a to be honest. There's been a few anyway. changes, definitely. And we've not uh, even vlogged the Flamingo Land before either, so that's going to be new. Joining us on the trip time. is going to be Ruin and Maze. All three of us will be in all of the vlogs from uh, this point for the rest of the trip so yeah uh, and obviously yeah ruins first time at Flamingo Land today yeah so it's gonna be good and we've had some good news Kamali has been closed for most of the season it has and we've come to the park today and it's, and it's open it's open so so brilliant news to be honest um, yeah it's been closed all season um, and then, yeah, open now, so going to be great to get back on that and all the other coasters today. You know, Heroes new since we last came, so definitely going to be getting on that. And then, you know, Park's got a couple of uh, good uh, flat rides as well, so plenty to get on today. Park's open 10 till 5, leaves us plenty of time. We got a uh, pretty much, well, yeah, bang on 10, oh, didn't we? We walked now, in. So um, Nine minutes past 10 now, so. Yeah. So got them, got in straight on time. And yeah, sun's come out for us, so yeah, all in all, gonna be a good day. Our cells are actually not feeling too fresh just because uh, of lack of sleep. We have uh, all been up since five uh, just to get here for this, uh, just to get here on time, so. But we are, we was here nice and early, so yeah. it, it's all worth it. So Definitely. we're gonna have a nice, we've pretty much got the full day, yeah. so. Obviously, there's a new coaster as well, which is Inversion. Unfortunately, it isn't opened. It's got delayed again for another year. So, I mean, looking at it, you know, obviously the coaster's up. Just uh, needs, um, obviously, all the work around it. The, the obviously, completed and finished off. So, delayed again for another year. Um, but hopefully, obviously, we can get back to the park next year and all experience the... Uh, New Inversion uh, Coaster. Yeah. We don't know what it's going to be called yet, so its space name is actually just like Inversion. inversion. Um, I don't know if it's going to stay that it long. Because it has um, got quite a lot of Inversions, hasn't it? Yeah, it's like, 10 I think, hasn't it? Yeah, I think it's a 10 one. Um, and it's not actually a new like track format. It has been um, purchased from, a uh, from another theme park, so yeah. But yeah, let's have a look around and actually get on something um, not looking too busy so far uh, but obviously still early yet and still time for people to fill the park so we'll see you when we get on our first ride of the day So we just come off Mumbo Jumbo for our first ride. Uh, queued almost an hour, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so a bit of a wait on this morning. So actually the park's first like expectations was pretty quiet as we walked in, but yeah, uh, it looks like it's uh, getting busy now. 
Uh, but yeah, say. what do you all think to it after? Well, obviously, after Ruin's first time, I've been after ours for quite a while. Well, quite a few years. I, mean, I enjoyed the ride, so I, but don't like the seats and don't like the restraints. But the ride. Yeah, the restraints were sort of a bit uncomfortable. Yeah. But the ride, yeah. It's a good ride, but I just found the seats very uncomfortable. It hit the back of it. Just there was no pen on the seats, nothing. No. I have to say, it was definitely worth the wait. And I actually found the restraints, I found them a bit weird, but I actually found them quite comfortable, to be fair. Um, but yeah, I quite liked, uh, obviously, the corners on it where I like, twists around. And that yeah, first drop, cool. it was... Yeah, the first in. drop. I know, uh, yeah, moment. Yeah, it was the first, first drop, drop when it, like, you know, caves in, it's, yeah, very good. And, you know, it's not, it's not like a rough ride or anything, so yeah, definitely re-rideable and definitely a good ride at the park. So now I think what we're going to do now is go on Kamali, which is another another coaster here at the park. And then after that, we'll probably go and get some food. So um, we'll go over to Kamali and we'll see you over there and give us and give you our opinions after. <laughs> just all come off Kamali and actually pretty good ride uh, I expected it to be a lot more rougher uh, well I remember it being a lot more rougher last time uh, but it wasn't too bad for me last uh, this time um, yeah quite enjoyed it this time what did uh, you think yeah I mean I prefer it to infusion the other I like uh, coaster but yeah definitely prefer it to infusion it um, infusion, yeah the LSCs Blackpool Pleasure but land, yeah. Pleasure Beach. I still found it a little bit rough. I don't like the restraints on it. Um, just my opinion. I'm, I'm a bit short on these two, so it, it doesn't help with the. But yeah, it just. Yeah, with the head banging head on there. Banging. Yeah. I mean, the first drop's great. I love the first drop. Yeah. But like I say, it's a little bit rough. But other than that, I prefer it to infusion. Um, it's got a better layout. It's just a lot better. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that is one of the coasters where you look at it. Usually, you look at it and you're like, "Oh, it's not as high as it is." Well, that one, you look at it, and you think it's actually not that high. But then when you're going up, it actually it's definitely seems high. Just keeps quite going, high. And going, yeah. and going, and then it just it's doesn't high. end. Well, just keeps going. It's quite high. But yeah, we all enjoyed it, and um, yeah, definitely better than Infusion at Pleasure Beach. We all think, don't we? But at the minute, oh yeah, Mumbo Jumbo. Only two rides done, but Mumbo Jumbo is so much better just for how smooth it is. And we were sat towards the back of as well, yeah. the um, camera. Train. Uh, the, what's it? What's it the train. Oh, we uh, Kamali. Yeah, we sat towards the back of Kamali. So yeah. we did get, we did the, get a bit of a, pull. a bit more heck banging yeah. in if we were sat at the front. A bit more pull. But it was actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. No. no, it was all right actually. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, we enjoyed it. So now we've only got, is it Velocity and Hero? to uh, get on and then we've that's to sort of like the, the coasters done as well. but also, obviously we've also got all the like the flat rides flight of the pterosaur uh, that looks yeah like a high chair swing oh dear oh yeah that looks like oh, uh, very, very scary ter there's a pterodactyl something oh, like yeah. that very yeah, dangerous yeah flat, flat of the pterosaur at Paulton's yeah, Park yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah um, but yeah we'll be going there anyway yeah uh, but yeah we're going to grab some food now um, so two rides down two of the main coasters down so we'll go and grab some food and then we'll catch up with you in a bit and hopefully we've got some food to show you in the next clip okay so we've came into the coach house a nice sit down meal while we're at the theme park today and i have gone with a sausage a mash and then they got some onion gravy there and a pint of coke room what we've got over here Bread, a little bit of salad, don't think I'll eat it, but that's, that's my meal with a pack of which is very good. 
And amaze, what have we got over here? I have my beef lasagna, some garlic bread, my chips, and my salad as well. And I've gone for a large coat here. Lovely. Here are the fishes happy, it's off through the waves. I roll. The fish on the land ain't happy. Looks like clouds that in the pool. The fish in the bowl is lucky. They in for a worse fate. One day when the boss gets hungry, the fishes go beyond the place. Here we go. Under the sea. Other side. Under the sea. Nobody beat us, fry us, and eat us in free KC. Double wave. We want the land folks lost to cook. Woo. Under the sea, we're off the hook. Ice we got no trouble. Just finished food. All good, wasn't it, really? Uh, nice. Enjoyed the food. Yeah, yeah, it was very good. Uh, filled us up. So now, while we let the food settle, we're going to walk around the zoo, aren't we? Yes, Have a look around the farm as well. See the flamingos at some point. Yeah, that's one of the we are main attractions, <laughs> obviously. So it has to be done. And then what we're going to do after we've walked around here, we're going to get some rides in at the end. So obviously Velocity, and then we've got things uh, like Cliffhanger and the other one. Hero. Uh, oh, yeah, there's Hero as well, yes. Uh, so, yeah, we'll have a walk around here. It'll break it up a bit for us, let the food settle, and then we'll... Uh, Get some rides in.
So we've just had a nice stroll around. Uh, this lovely sunny afternoon, haven't we? Yeah. We saw the flamingos. Obviously, you've got to see them. Flamingo land. Got to see the flamingos while you're here. Um, but now, what we're going to do, because there's a sea lion show on it for, so we definitely want to hit that. So what we're going to do now is head back to the theme park, get some rides in, hopefully we'll get a few in, and then head straight back and watch the sea lion show um, at the end. And then I think we might even get some in as well after that, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, we're going to head over to Velocity, aren't we? Because yeah. that's one of the main ones we definitely want to do. So, we'll see you over at Velocity. So we just come off Velocity, very good ride experience, obviously a bit different to your retail stealth, not as fast as a launch but obviously it gives you the perspective that you're on a motorbike, uh, so yeah, definitely uh, gives a feel uh, and a different overall ride experience, very good, what did you think to be your first time on it Ruin? Yeah, no, I really enjoyed that, I am um, probably up there with Mumbo Jumbo. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. Really good ride experience. Yeah, Just definitely. All was really good. Yeah. So before we go and see the Sea Lion show, we're going to get on Hero now. That is one what none of us have done yet. So we're, so we're here now. We'll get on Hero. I'll get some off ride shots and then we'll give you our opinions when we get off it. Just come off Hero. Got to say, that is a bit of a different ride experience, to be honest. Uh, takes you up pretty slow, and then, yeah, after that, it's just a bit uh, rough, isn't it? Like, you can feel it on your shoulders, like, really digging in when you're going around. And also, if you don't actually hold on over the barrel rolls, you're not actually properly, like, locked in, like, tight, so, you like, you sort of, like, come on your back a bit, like, and then go straight back on your front, so yeah, not comfortable really. I mean, the ride overall wasn't that bad, uh, but yeah, it just wasn't too comfortable, was it really? No, I didn't enjoy it personally. I no, I mean, out of all the coasters, it's probably yeah, the pro weakest one. probably the weakest out of them all. Yeah, um, but obviously, you know, it's a different sort of coaster type uh, that we're all used to. So yeah, at least we got to uh, experience that one. So now we're walking over to the Sea Lions, we're going to watch that show and then I think uh, we'll be sort of nearing probably half four then, but we'll have half an hour left. Probably get one more ride in, won't we? Yeah. And then, um, yeah, see where we, uh, that'll, then that'll probably conclude the day then to be honest with you. So we'll see you over at the Sea Lion show and get some footage over there for you all.
just come out of the sea line show. Um, was on for about 15 minutes in total, so very short show, uh, but yeah, you know what you expect from a sea line show, I suppose. Different tricks, and uh, that's all the footage will be in there for you. Yeah, it was good, good show. Um, 15 minutes, but yeah, it was. Did we get to go? Um, it's, it's a good, good little show. Yeah. To go to. It splits up the day a little bit, just 15 minutes. Um, but yeah, enjoyable. Yeah, that's it. You know, it gets you doing something different. But um, now we're going to head on. Hopefully, going to get cliffhanger and um, pterodactyl, aren't we? Hopefully, try and get them both. We're going to go to pterodactyl first, so because. That's obviously, this park's the only park we're going to be able to get on like, that sort of flat ride. So we're going to head over there first, and then hopefully we'll get Cliffhanger in as well. And then after that, we uh, obviously we do need to go and check out um, the new coaster, which obviously isn't operating yet, um, but I'll put a few uh, shots of it in for you all. The coast is up, obviously it's just like all the scenery and stuff around it and all the terrain, what needs working on. Yeah, so we'll go and get on these two rides, throw some off-road shots in and then uh, wrap it up at the end with showing you the new coaster and our opinions on the day. So I'm just outside Flamingo Land's brand new ten inversion roller coaster. Like I said at the start of the vlog, it actually isn't open yet. It has been delayed. It was, it was actually meant to be opening in 2020, hey there, but it, it was delayed until 2021, and now delayed until 2022. So uh, it's looking good, though, isn't it? It's looking very good, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, like I said, you know, just some training scenery. And like the coaster looks pretty ready to be honest. Um, so if yeah. where they want to sit. So hopefully when we get to the by the time we get to the park next year, we will actually be able to go on it, and that will be another coaster to this uh, big developing park. I mean, I don't know if they've changed the track. I have heard some different things that they want to change the colour of the track. They don't want. To yeah, I think the there is track. a repaint gonna. There is gonna be a repaint, and I've not, I've not not seen any of the trains here yet. So there's. I don't think the trains have been put on the track or anything like that. It's just no. literally the coaster. Yeah, just the yeah, the coaster itself with all the station building looks up and everything. But other than yeah. that, that's about it. There's a few bits of theming going on in places, but but far far from finished yet. Yeah, yeah, just no work's been done since like the pandemic, uh, which is unfortunate. But obviously, it's what they decided to do. They've wanted to wait until. Obviously, they can um, until it's sort of all over, hopefully, by uh, next year when they can get it open. Uh, but yeah, hopefully it won't be delayed again, but I guess only time will tell and we'll wait and see. And hopefully we will get to the park next year and this will be running. So I'm going to put some shots in now of the whole coaster itself, just for you to have a look at. And then we'll catch you at the end for a wrap up of the day. Followed by number three, five, six, and seven. Number one is still in the lead, though. But who is gonna win? Number nine is coming in third. Number three is our winner. Right, so just got back in the car and that does conclude our day at Flamingo Land. It's been a uh, quite a good day to be honest. You know, we've got um, pretty much everything we wanted to, haven't we? Apart from Cliffhanger, which yeah. was the uh, drop tower. But we're not too bothered about it because 
obviously it's pretty much identical to Ice Blast at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Um, but yeah, um, totally underestimated actually, like the the size of the park. Um, couldn't actually remember how big the zoo was itself. I don't know if things have been added into it or not. Probably have. I know it's had uh, like a couple of new rides as well since. There's a couple of rides that wasn't available today. A couple of the flat ones. Um, I think the flip flop, and then uh, there was like the discus one, which uh, not sure what that one's called, but I'm I'm pretty sure that wasn't there last time we was here either. Um, but ruin it's been your first time, hasn't it? Yeah, no. Well, definitely, definitely a good park, and like you say, they've obviously. I know um, the new ride and version was supposed to be open uh, a couple of years ago, but well last year but hasn't um, but it shows a putting investment into the park and I, and it is is a good park i mean i really didn't expect it to be that big it is a lot bigger than i like i say first anticipated but yeah i enjoyed it and look look forward to coming back well, probably next year now we come back um and yeah yeah we definitely need to try and get back next year and get on yeah. inversion but on the whole i've really enjoyed enjoyed my um day today at um flamingo land so yeah obviously we've been lucky as well with kamali opening you know that's been closed yeah, for pretty much the whole sort of season so far so it's, it was good that that was open and we could actually get on that and no velocity was closed for maintenance if, like i think uh, quite a few weeks ago I'm not sure how long it would close for if it was just a day or a few days um but uh yeah it was good that we could actually get on that to be honest like I said, you know, it's a massive park and definitely a two-day park. I mean, we've been, yeah, here, we've been here since 10, like, it, since it opened, 10 till 5. And, you know, we still haven't, you know, properly had a, a full-on look around the zoo and still didn't get on pretty much every ride there either. So, um, so yeah, it's definitely good like if you have got a spare day as well like you can come back it was just reading as we come out of the park then for 14.50 so definitely worth having a second day if you can mm. obviously we're down uh, in Chertsey um, from tomorrow so um, we'll be going uh, Fort Park, Paulton's Park Chessington um, down, while we're down there so um, yeah still plenty more to come from the summer trip what did you think, Mays, to uh, Flamingo Land today? First time back in a few years. Oh, yeah. Well, there's definitely been quite a few new rides um, since we last come. Um, and like you say, the park was a lot bigger. We, I didn't even think we thought the zoo was that big because we were just like, yeah, we looking at the penguins and the other animals. And then next minute, we, we saw, like, we were running out of time. And then we saw the other a lion, sea lion show. And then, so we didn't even get a chance to look around all of the animals at the zoo. Um, so yeah, so definitely needed more time, um, and we definitely wouldn't have spent as long looking at the penguins if we would have known either, yeah. so yeah, um, the one thing I did notice, the uh, cable cars was out of action, so I don't know if that's just a thing, I don't even know where the other side yeah, is. Yeah, I don't was. think they run anymore, do they, to no. be honest, uh, I, I don't even know if they were running the like a few years ago when we come so it does feel um, like it is needed though because it is a big park yeah so it would be quite nice to take a ride from one end to the other yeah i can see why obviously they had them in before um because you just you you get in there and you just don't actually realize how big mm, the park, park is, is yeah. um like when we walked in we thought it was going to be a quiet day but obviously just because it's that big like everyone was all spread out in all the queue lines so Actually, did end up being pretty busy in the end. You know, we like we queued an hour for Mumbo Jumbo at the start. Um, not too bad on Kamali, for that was half an hour. Half an hour yeah. um, and then obviously not too bad on the other ones either. Uh, Velocity, I think we got we did that in under half an hour, I believe. Um, so yeah, busier than we thought it was going to be. Um, because yeah. I know a few years ago when we did come, I'm pretty sure it was a weekend when we come. And it was pretty quiet, so um, yeah, definitely a busy one today. Um, but yeah, we did actually manage to get on, you know, pretty much everything we wanted to. Had a look at everything uh, we wanted to uh, in the time we've had today. So yeah, overall, been a good day. You know, the weather stayed good, so that's always a 
you know, a plus on the day um, to top it off. So we will be back with another vlog soon. Um, I'll probably, when I'm uploading these vlogs, they'll probably be a few days apart from each other. Um, so I'll be uploading them all when we've actually um, filmed every part. So yeah, look forward to plenty of vlogs coming after this one. And if you did enjoy, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Let us know that you are enjoying these vlogs and let us know if you're getting to any of these parks um, this year and even getting to any other parks throughout the year as well. I know we'll be getting to Fright Nights again by the end of the year. Um, so that's all booked. So yeah, um, can't wait for that. So again, thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you all in the next one.